we're going to read. Hold me to it. Hello, welcome to this week's reading vlog. I'm starting it a little late. It's actually Tuesday now because yesterday was September 7th, which is Labor Day in Canada. So it's actually Tuesday, September 8th, 2020 now, and I didn't film yesterday because I was just like enjoying my life on my holidays. So sorry, but here we are today and we're actually going to do a reading vlog. We're going to read. Hold me to it. This week for work, I like am barely working, so I have a lot of time to read. So we're actually going to do a reading vlog this time around because I have been working since July from either 7.30 to 4 or 7.45 to 4. 30 or 9 to 5. But now this week I am working from 7 to 9 in the morning and then from 3 to 6 in the afternoon. If you guys are new to my channel, you don't know, but I work at a daycare and since school is starting now, I do before and after school programs so the hours are really weird and I don't want to talk about it. I don't like it. But it means that there's a lot of time for reading. So right now I am reading Beasts Made of Night by Tochi Onibuchi and I am on chapter like 14 which is page like 150 out of like 296. It's about this guy named Taj who is an Aki which is a sin eater and basically the people of his country hire Aki in order to eat their sins and like absolve them of what they've done wrong in the world and it's usually like the royal family. He kills like this really difficult sin monster thing and so he gets hired by the royal family to be like their own personal sin eater I guess. And honestly I'm kind of confused with like what the point of this book is right now because like he got hired but like I don't know if he's supposed to be like secretly their sin eater or what because like it doesn't make sense that the world would know that their royal people are like committing sins all the time. I don't know it's very confusing to me but I think it's probably going to be like a three star for me because I just don't care <laughs> honestly. I'm like halfway through and I just am not really like vibing with the story but whatever that's just me and then i'm also reading an e-arc for penguin teen right now and it's called he must really like you by danielle something i'll insert a picture here but i'm actually really liking that one i'm on page 100 out of like 390 or something like that it's about this girl who's trying to make enough money to attend college the next year and so she's working as a waitress but she's getting like sexually assaulted by one of the customers who's like loved by the town that she lives in and so one day she finally snaps and pours a pitcher of sangria on him which i am so here for like yes girl stand up for yourself I don't care what anybody says and she gets fired and so the book takes place like three months after that situation is like her trying to like deal with all of that and what happened to her and then she also hooked up with one of her co-workers and that's like a very confusing situation for her so it's her dealing with that as well and it's just like a good book so far like I'm really enjoying it I think that it's discussing like a lot of very important topics in like I don't want to say a fun way but not in like a very overly dramatic like make you feel terrible for the character way. It's just very like low-key which I'm really enjoying because it's like dealing with some pretty serious topics right now. But yeah, that's what I'm reading this week. Um, I think Will is coming over for dinner so I don't know if I'm going to be filming any of that probably because he likes to be on camera and be the center of attention so that's why we get along so well because we're both attention whores. <laughs> But I'm assuming like I'll probably have clips of him or he'll vlog from his phone because that's what he does when he's over here because he knows that I don't actually do what I say I'm gonna do and film content for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this anymore apparently. Like my subscribers are just plummeting. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna go read this book. Hopefully I'm going to get like a good chunk of it done before he gets here. Like it's 5.06 right now and he's not coming until like 6 so... 
we got some time but that's the plan for right now and i'll catch you guys either around dinner or tomorrow you'll see by the next clip let me just show you how much Scoomy. let me just show you how much a half a cup is Scoomy, why are you mad at me i'm mad at you at all <laughs> tell the people this is a half a cup in real life <laughs> this is jay ann's half a cup i think the more cheese the better making buns with cheese hello everybody do you all see what i created there's butter all over this thing that's not my fault this is all your fault no look at this and she said there was too much cheese. I said there's not enough cheese. I added more cheese than it called for because there was just so much in that bowl. The rest is yes. right there. Oh, and we have cookies. We're going to make cookies. So we're going to make cookies after dinner. What are you doing? I'm going to eat cookie dough. No, don't eat it. The well, I have you. a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use my words against me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny, huh? I'm making sugar cookies. I'm making sugar. Look, I just cut all of these. I cut those. I cut them all. <laughs> and we have... We have... This to go on top. But Will refuses to make cookies from scratch because he's trash. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I thought that was a knife. <laughs> It was his hand. <laughs> it was my finger. <laughs> I got scared. Step one. White chocolate chips. Ooh. Hi. What are we doing? All I want is a cookie. This is step two. Is this the right angle? No, this is step two. <laughs> step two of... <laughs> step two of three. There's three steps? Yeah, if you would help me, it would go faster. I'm trying to help myself, but apparently I can't do that. Jay. Stop farting, I swear I'm to God. I'm not, I'm not. You don't even have proof. Can you please just go poop somewhere else? Ooh, look at how yummy that looks. It's way too much chocolate. No, leave that. You're good diabetic, you can't eat that much. I want a cookie, I'm gonna try to convince her. It's step two of three. What's step three? You have to wait and Eat? see. No, that's step four. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go home by the time we're done these cookies. Well, again, if you would help. What's step three? Score bits. Is that what these are? Correct. Can I follow up with these? Yes. Okay, then where do we put this so they can see? Is this hot? Yes. <gasps> that's warm. Is it that... literally, the stove says it's on. William, I swear if you burn my phone. Ha! <laughs> Oh, you have to get on my level. I have to be short? Yes. <laughs> Do you have a spoon? Where are my spoons? In a drawer. Where? I don't know. You know this. Do you know where my stuff is? Yes. Where's my spoons? In the drawer. Where? <laughs> In the kitchen. Uh-huh. Oh, look, I got my Taylor Swift merch. No one cares. You said they watched the video for me. Okay, but they do <laughs> care for a Taylor is Swift. It, are we putting... One whole tablespoon on each cookie. You can put as much as you would like. Score bit. How, like, do I just like... Do whatever you want. I don't even know if this is going to taste good. This is the first time I've ever done this. If these taste like trash, it's your... Oh, that one's got a lot. Oops. They might taste like trash. I've never done it. Oh my god, you take forever. Hurry up. I've already caught up to you. It's gonna be... Did you just fart on me? <laughs> no, it's just going out of the way. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> you did so much. Yes, the more the merrier. You're gonna die from diabetic shock. So here's the taste. You're good or bad? Oh, you won't like these. So, they're good? Don't worry. I'll take them home and dispose of them properly. They kind of look like trash, but... Well, they don't. They don't look good. Yes, they do. Taste? Look at my fine artwork. Um, out of ten. What are our thoughts? For you, disgust zero, negative five. <laughs> For your artistic For anybody abilities. else that's watching, ten out of ten. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
to school. So, you know, like it was super easy, chill morning. I loved it. It was just like so chill compared to what I have been working this summer, which was like toddlers and preschool age, which is like one to five year olds ish. So, I liked not having to change diapers today, but I'm gonna go inside, have some breakfast, cause I didn't actually eat anything this morning. I didn't wanna get up early early, so I only got up early, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go eat, like I said, and then I'm gonna read more Beasts of the Night, and hopefully I can get like done that book. I got to page 188 before Will showed up last night out of like 296, so I only have like 100-ish more pages. See how I didn't tell you an actual number because I don't do math and don't know what it actually is. But I'm still like, I don't care about it. Like it's not anything I feel is going to be like a wow, five out of five stars. Like it's probably going to be a three out of five star read for me. Like I just don't give a shit about any of the characters or what's happening in the story. I'm just kind of reading it to get it done at this point. So... You know, that sucks, but you love some, you don't love some, you know? Hopefully I love the next book that I read. We'll see, I guess. I'm gonna go inside now and talk to my mom and tell her how my day went. Well, morning, because it's literally 9 a.m. So I just finished Beasts Made of Night. I gave it a three out of five stars like I predicted I would. I'm just writing my review now, which is why I'm like in my other room. I say my other room like I'm like some rich bougie bitch, but really it's my grandma's old room and I just took it over with all my bookshelves. So it's like our library, I guess. But like I said, I gave it three out of five stars. I'm honestly just kind of like confused with the story. Like there wasn't really any world building in my opinion. Like I liked the idea of the Sin Eaters and how like people's sins became like shadow beasts and then the Sin Eaters, the Akai, had to like kill the beasts and then they got tattoos on their bodies based off of like whatever beasts they just killed but like I didn't understand why some people were Akai and then other people weren't Akai like how that whole transition happened because like you're not born with it so I didn't really understand that like maybe I missed it I don't know I also didn't understand like why the Akai were so like stigmatized against in the community because like they're literally helping everybody else live pure lives so like wouldn't they be like celebrated and like liked but apparently not i probably missed it when i wasn't paying attention or something but i didn't get it so now i need to go pick a new book to read i have no idea what it's going to be but like i'll update you guys later on what i choose but i'm going to finish this review so that i can be caught up on all my good read reviews because i still have like three more hours until i have to go to work so we're like getting shit done today i also filmed a book haul because i went to like a box sale the other day and it was like fill a box for 25 dollars kind of thing so I have two boxes. I filmed one out of the two boxes, but I don't want to film another video because I'm a lazy motherfucker. So I'll, like I said, Goodreads reviews and then choose another book and then it's off to work I go. Okay, I chose my next book. It's Wink Puppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuchel. This was like one that my mom chose on my TBR. If you guys are new to my channel, y'all don't know this, but my mom picks my TBR every month and she has like some theme that goes along with it. And this month she made it like time because the year has been going by super quick, so Wink Poppy Midnight is the next one on the list. I've been reading it since around like 12.30. It's 2.17 now, so I have to get ready for work because I have to be there by 3. Yeah, I'm like 110 pages in. It's like alright so far. I'm like pretty much halfway, almost. It's like 44% I think Goodreads said, but like it's kind of confusing. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like the tagline is a hero, a villain, a liar, who's who. It's following like these three teenagers and like one's named Poppy, one's named Wink, and one's named Midnight. From like the first 110 pages, I think Poppy's the villain, Wink is the liar, and Midnight's the hero based off of like what's going on. But like everybody's an unreliable narrator, so I'm like kind of confused. Don't really know what the heck's going on, but so far I'm enjoying it like trying to figure out what the heck is happening so I mean that's good but now I have to go to work three to six I'm leaving for work and it's dark out and I do not like it wow. do you know what this is I think so what do you think it is punching the air I won a Harper Collins thing <laughs> I, it was part of Frenzy. I won because um, I commented a question to the authors. Oh, cool. Wow, so exciting. Yeah. Thanks. Hi, 
it's now Thursday. I finished Wink Poppy Midnight last night, but it was like super dark and like when I tried to film my update, it was like yellow and I didn't like it, so here we are. But I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was actually way better than I expected to because it has a lot of like negative reviews on Goodreads. So I don't know if I'm just like weird and enjoyed it, but I listened to it on audiobooks, so that might also be why. Like it had three different voices for the three different characters. So the ending was not what I expected either, which bumped up my rating because I had like what I thought was in my head what was gonna happen but it wasn't but I actually liked it so I finished that and then I haven't actually started but I chose my next book it's going to be The Perfect Mother by Amy Malloy and this was on my TBR for August and I just never got to it so now we're getting to it but it's basically about this group of mothers who call themselves the May Mothers and they like are always with their kids but they decide that they're going to have a night out so they all get babysitters one of the moms when she comes home finds out that that her baby is missing and it's like the story of them trying to figure out what happened to her baby. I haven't read a thriller in a while since My Dark Vanessa like two weeks ago. So we're back on our thriller kick because on this channel we love thrillers. I'm about to film an unboxing of the, that, that box that I got from the box sale and like 24 books that I got from there so I need to you know film that so I can put them away because they're just taking up space on my bedroom floor. So it's now 6 39 I just got home from work but I figured I'd update you guys on where I am in The Perfect Mother. I'm 225 pages in now. They just revealed some big thing that I did not see coming at all. I thought I had it figured out. I think I still have it partially figured out, but this new reveal like kind of added a kind of little twist to it. I'm very intrigued. I really want to know if I'm right, but I am really liking this book. Like it's very addictive and I just like need to keep reading. So I think I'm going to read more of this, get some dinner, and then hopefully finish this tonight, honestly, because I just need to know what happens to this baby. <laughs> It's now Friday. I just got back from work about a half hour ago and I just filmed my Spooktober announcement video because if you guys don't know, I'm a host this year and I'm so excited. It was a readathon that was created by Vanessa from Paper X Fairy and she chose me to be a co-host this year. There's 13 of us, so spooky numbers, love that. But it's for the entire month of October and this year, the theme is like a Halloween party. So there's like four different areas, I guess, from the party that you can choose to read from and I'm just so excited about this readathon. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think my announcement video is going to come up after this video on Wednesday so check it out to learn all the challenges and about the spooky movies that we're going to be watching. It's a grand old time so I really hope that you guys join us. I finished The Perfect Mother yesterday and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I freaking loved it way more than I thought I was going to. Like I thought I was going to like it but the ending like poof, mind blown. I did not see it coming. Like I had this whole theory in my head about how it was going to go down and it did not go down that way but I like the ending so much better than I thought it was going to be. So I definitely recommend you guys check out the book if you haven't read it yet because it's a lot of fun. It's a good thriller and like I don't often find a lot of good thrillers anymore because I've read so many. I find them so predictable that I just don't like them that much anymore like I usually give thrillers like 3.5 now on average like a 3 3.5 but this one was 4.5 so definitely check it out um I started a new book which is upstairs it's um no one is watching by Alyssa Cole I'll insert a picture here but it's like her new thriller book and she's usually a romance novelist I believe but everybody loves her and Harper Collins sent me a arc of her book so I was like oh <gasps> must read it so i'm reading that right now i don't really know what it's about other than this author is really loved and it's a thriller so once i read a little bit more of it because i've only read one chapter i'll let you guys know more on the synopsis because i always go into thrillers blind because i don't want to know so i'm now on page 225 of when no one is watching by Alyssa cole and i am loving it so far it's so good i'm like more than halfway through but it's basically about a woman named sydney who lives in a predominantly black neighborhood and all of her neighbors begin to move out for 
circumstances not exactly in their control and so when the real estate agency begins selling all the houses to white people she quickly realizes that the demographics are a lot different than what she is used to and so she decides that she's going to start a history tour of the neighborhood and a man who moved in across the street named Theo decides to help her out on that but then they realize that things that are happening in the neighborhood aren't exactly you know, legal, lawful, and some spooky things begin happening and it's basically the story of that. It's advertised as like Rear Window meets Get Out, which I haven't seen Rear Window so I have no idea what that is, but I'm definitely getting Get Out vibes from it. I freaking love that movie, it was so good. But I definitely see the comparisons, so unfortunately I have to go to work now. It's like 2.15, I have to leave at 2.20. So I need to go get ready and leave so I can't finish it and I'm going to Will straight after work, so sadly I'm not gonna get any reading done so I'm kind of disappointed because I really want to finish this like now but alas I must make bank so I'm gonna go thank you for joining me on this reading journey this week um it wasn't really that exciting it was literally just me reading I didn't do anything else so um I'll see you all in my next video goodbye